Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. If you're new around here, welcome. My name is Abby, by the way. And if you're not new, thank you for coming back to watch another video. So in today's video, I will be testing out Makeup Revolution's newest found uh, newest foundation line, newest brand. So Makeup Revolution, as we know, is the umbrella brand for a bunch of other brands. And um, a couple of months ago, earlier on in the year, they did launch a new brand called XX Revolution and it's meant to be a more premium brand um, slightly more expensive of course because it is more premium and yeah just a bit more considered so definitely looking at an older audience or at least an audience that appreciates a bit more luxury in their you know their product range so I bought a couple of their complexion products and I'm going to test them out and see how they apply on my skin and if they work and if I've got the right shade. So because it is a little bit more on the pricey side, I did actually hold myself back in terms of what I bought so I didn't buy the full collection. Like I said, I kind of stuck to the complexion products and I tried to stick to the things that worked. So you're not going to get a full you know, spectrum in terms of swatches looking at different blush colors, different bronzer colors, da, 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 all that. I will leave uh, a little shot of the products that are available just so you can see for yourself. And yeah, so I will just be focusing on the things I think can work for my skin tone. So because I'm very familiar with, you know, the whole Makeup Revolution color scheme, I want to say, I do have, like my most recent foundation that I bought from them was the uh, Revolution Conceal Define and that is one of my favorite in terms of all my um, you know all my foundations let's hope this doesn't disappoint because I do really like a lot of their foundations just for the price point the way they apply the fact that they last long and yeah they just they, they don't break me out so my skin works really well with their foundations so in terms of the products that I have I have their First of all, I have the Quick Fix Mattifying Fixing Mist. The packaging on this is really, really nice, by the way. So this is what it looks like. It's very holographic. And this is 100 ml, 100 ml of product you get in here. I did also get the Excess Blush in the shade Jaded. It's meant to be a more of a burnt orangey type of color. It's looking slightly more red than it is. On my side, it's a bit more of an orangey, burnt orangey tone but that's what it is i mean in terms of the swatch we will get to the actual product itself next i have the xx bronzer I have, I have actually opened this and it's a definitely very very cool tone for a bronzer so i bought it at the time because i looked at the color i was like okay this could work as a you know kind of like a contour shade so yeah it's very very cool tone which you can actually see from the color swatch that they have on the packaging so this is in the shade vignette um yeah so this is meant to be from their uh bronzer color selection and next i have two concealers i did buy the shade 13.2 which is supposed to be my this is that that is actually the closest thing to my color in the conceal and define line so that's what this is and i also bought a highlight concealer shade in the shade 12.2 which again i actually really like because it's got more of a yellow undertone to it but it's a highlight shade so previously i was using the shade 12.5 in their conceal and define um concealer concealer uh in terms of their conce conceal and define concealer but um i think 12.2 works really well when i went and got that one and of course we have the foundation itself in the shade 13.2 like i said that is my color in the conceal and define and i will swatch them side by side this so this is the conceal and define it's really really good it's an awesome foundation just period it is one of the best like long lasting blurring all of that it's great for your skin and yeah it's great it's great for most skins actually i think so i will leave like in terms of the details for each product in terms of pricing and everything just in case i forget <laughs> to talk about it so i do have a limited amount of time the house is quiet my daughter went out on a bike ride so i'm trying to get this foundation review done before she brings back her noise and disturbs the piece so this is the packaging and it has the xx revolution uh, logo on the top and it also has the color and um the amount of product that you get 
on the bottom so it says you actually get 27 mls which is just 3 mls shy of a normal like a 30 ml foundation that you'd uh, 30 mls which is what you'd normally get in a in a regular size foundation it's very very weighty the bottle is glass the top is like a plastic type of top and the metal on the oh what is this it feels really sticky that is very odd but anyway the silver um pump is plastic as well it feels so sticky there's a sticky residue on this and i don't know why just gonna see if i can wipe this off don't know what that is i have opened this before just to see but i didn't notice a sticky residue so i don't know i feel like maybe something's leaked from here but anyway this is the color so it's very close to my skin if not an exact match hopefully the easiest thing would be just rather than saving me time in terms of looking it up on my phone so in terms of what it claims it can do this is a silk finish long wear liquid skin foundation full coverage for a flawless complexion it, it is also infused with vitamin e and hyaluronic acid to hydrate the skin so i know this is definitely targeted towards those who want like a full coverage look and it doesn't promise to actually have a matte finish but i'm pretty sure in the foundation reviews i've seen um it does look quite matte actually so and also it's my rare i think so she tried this she reviewed this and she said it's like one of her favorites if not her favorite drugstore foundation at the time so hopefully it will apply really well okay so this is very very runny yeah okay so just to quickly talk about what my skin type is i do have oily skin it's oily in the center pretty normal around the perimeter you can see i have acne prone skin but right now my skin is in a really good place no active breakouts just working on the dark marks on my skin so those are really my areas of concern on my cheeks slightly on my forehead and in the jaw area as well so my brows are already on um I feel like in the time that I've just pressed this onto my hand, it's gotten a little bit darker, or is it me? I don't know. I might have to do a screen, like a comparison shot, but it feels like it's gone slightly darker. Clearly, this is going to be a bit too dark for my skin, so I'm definitely not going to apply more than I need. I'm going to use the Real Techniques 200 Foundation Brush, Expert Face Brush. So what I'm going to do is apply uh, half my face with the brush and half with the sponge. I have my Juno and Co. Forgotten what the name of the sponge is, but I'll leave the details on the screen and I'll use that. Hopefully, it's not too damp. So, I've just got one pump um, on my skin, and I do like. So, I've just got one pump which I'm going to use on this side of my face. For today, I'm just applying it straight onto my skin just to see how it applies tomorrow i will do the exact same thing but i will apply my w7 primer because this is quite late in the day so i'm not even going to try to do a wear test right now so i'll do the same thing and i'll show you a clip of what my face looks like in the morning when I, once i've applied everything As you can see it's pretty much covered all my acne marks and it's blended into my skin seamlessly so that's my face and that's the foundation but it's definitely a bit more on the yellow side which is great it's I'm gonna swatch the conceal and define next to it so we can see okay so this is just make sure i got that right the current the coloring looks exact yeah they look pretty close to the naked eye i can't see a difference in there i'm gonna add another pump usually like in this day and age <laughs> one pump is enough for me i'm just gonna wipe off 
the conceal and define so it doesn't mix. I'm going to dot it onto my face. With my brush. And then apply it with the sponge. And what I expect is a more sheer finish anyway. A bit more of a skin like finish. So you can definitely still see my scars with the sponge. I'm going to take a little pump. Let's see if I can do it up just for those who like to apply their foundation with the sponge. Seems like it's more covered. I do I will say it's easier to achieve a full coverage look with the brush. So maybe going with the brush first and then smooth over if you need to with a sponge. And something I've also noticed with applying it with a sponge as well is that this side is slightly more matte than this side. This side def this side definitely has a glow to it um, in comparison to this side. So again, if you think about the fact that you apply when you apply your foundation with a sponge or like a powder with a sponge or what a sponge is supposed to do, it's supposed to soak up, you know, the liquid um, or the oils re really. So I think uh, sponge application will definitely take off the edge in terms of the glow. So if you don't like any kind of glow to your skin, um, yeah, you definitely want to use a sponge. So maybe go in with the brush first and then a sponge or just risk using more product by going straight in with the sponge. Because with the sponge, you definitely need more product because it will eat up some of that um, foundation as you're applying it. But the initial application is really nice. Just gives me a very healthy glow to my skin and you can still see my skin so it's not like cakey even though it promises to be full coverage which is great so that's what it looks like next i'm going to apply the concealers um i do have the shade 13.2 i will swatch it actually just to see if the concealer matches the foundation because sometimes it can be different Okay, so this is what the concealer looks like. The concealer, uh, does it have anything on the box? So it says it's meant to, so the actual name is the Super Fix Concealer. It is crease proof, uh, life proof, full coverage concealer, conceals and brightens skin, covering blemishes, dark circles and redness. It has a stretchable formula with no flashback, which is great. So yeah, and you get 13.5 ml, that is a lot of product. And a typical foundation, like say, like a lot of these high-end foundations, foundation, a typical concealer container, you probably get anything from, like I've seen some brands go as low as just below 4 ml. Um, and then for like a typical concealer, you might get maybe, I don't know, 7, 8 ml if you're lucky. Like they say, the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop is, exactly, so this is a prime example. The NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer is 3.5 ml. And this is what it looks like next to it. Um, the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. This one has, this is such an old container, I don't even know if I can see that for uh, quantity. I don't, oh gosh, it's all rubbed off. This still looks a lot bigger for sure. Um, and this concealer lasts for a long time, so you can imagine how much longer this will last. So this shade is the shade. 13.2 the only thing i'm noticing is that there's a bit of a tug to get the product out so the doe foot is slightly wider than the neck of the uh, container so it has an interesting shape to it I'm just going to swatch it and i'm going to also swatch the shade 12.2 which is the highlight shade Okay, trying to get the, this doe foot out actually made some product fall on my trouser. So again, just be careful where you're trying to open this concealer. 
so this is the foundation shade that's the concealer which is it looks a lot cooler and then this is the highlight shade which is a lot brighter than i thought it was going to be actually So the application went really well. I feel like it applies really well with both a brush and a sponge. Sometimes when I am in a hurry, I do like to just blend my concealer with a brush, the same brush I use for my, as my foundation. So yeah, but I think it might be slightly more of a easier blend with the sponge. But yeah, either way works. But I feel like I retained more coverage slightly in this side. I'm just gonna use up the little bit that's left. I will use the shade for the concealer, the 13.2, just on this side, just to, so it doesn't waste at least. But it definitely added more coverage. Yeah, this is a really good full coverage. Now there's definitely, before there was a slight shadow, but I can't see. Okay, so I definitely like the finish of this. It feels like it's So it feels like it's slightly more glowy. It's still slightly glowy on this side. Um, slightly more matte on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the foundation. Um, this time I will use my Coty S Bond Translucent. I did get a new one um, from Amazon and this isn't the extra coverage. This is just the translucent powder. I haven't used this powder in such a long time. So this is what it is. So if you're in the UK and you didn't know you can get this powder you can definitely get it from Amazon it has a slight bit of coverage to it by the way oh I forgot I need to apply some to the center of my face as well so I'm gonna just quickly apply I love how this concealer just blends in so it's not a harsh I don't have to work too hard to blend it into my skin basically you know what I'm saying so now I'm gonna set it with my Coty S bun And it does leave a bit of a color so just be aware of that it won't completely whitewash your face or anything she said looking whitewashed <laughs> next i'm going to use my revolution chocolate banana um what do you call it i heart revolution chocolate banana powder just to set my under eyes Now we move on to the bronzer. So like I said, the shade I got is the shade Vignette. And this is the packaging for the bronzer. It opens up like this. Oh, and you get a little plastic thing. So I'm definitely not gonna use it as a bronzer. I use it more as, I guess, a contour of sorts. I use this brush from my BH Cosmetics uh, brush set.
with this one. And I'm going in with a very light hand as well. Zoom out, but who oh, no, you can do? So I'm going to use a bronzer. The one I'm, the one I've been reaching for the most um, is the one from the Tammy Clark uh, Makeup Revolution collection. So I like how the bronzer applied. Because it's quite dark for my skin, I'd have to go on with a very light hand or just make sure I use a bronzer with it as well just to make sure there isn't like this obvious shadow around my face. But that's what this looks like right now. Um, I think just to define my cheeks a little bit, I'm going to apply some powder under it. Lastly, I'm just going to take some of my Vichy Derma Blend, a very light layer. This is what it looks like. And I'm just going to lightly dust that over my whole face. So we have the blush in the shade Jaded. So the blushes come in a really pink, um, so the blushes come in a pink packaging like this. And wow, this is really, really, this is like red. This is the most red foundation, foundation blush I have ever tried. But let's just see how this goes. So I'm going to take my Real Techniques blush brush, um, number 400. I'm just going to dust some of this off. And it comes with a mirror as well by the way so that is really useful it's definitely a lot more obvious on camera than to the naked eye which is really crazy it's crazy what the camera picks up versus your naked eye because in my mirror I can barely see it I can kind of see it and it looks like it's just applied the perfect amount but on camera, it looks like it's on the verge of clown makeup, basically. So you really do have to be careful. This is some strong stuff. <laughs> this is really good. It's really strong. But yeah, go in with a really, really light hand. And then I'm going to apply an old favourite. This is the Revolution Shimmer Brick in Rose Gold. I use this almost every day. I just love it. It's so cheap. It's like three pounds, I think. I'm going to use my Real Techniques 402 highlighting brush. So I'm just going to take these two. Apply the same thing to my inner corners. And I'm going to finish off the whole thing with the Matte Fix Fixing Mist. Oh, actually, so this uh, claims to, well, as you expect, reduce shine and mattify skin whilst holding makeup in place. And it also contains witch hazel and tea tree. So I guess this is targeted towards blemish prone skin because you tend to see those type of uh, ingredients. Okay, this is definitely fine. Okay. Oh, it has, okay, it's scented. It has a scent to it, by the way. So just beware if you have really, really sensitive skin. Okay. For a minute there, I thought it was leaving specks of glitter on my skin, but I think that was just the makeup drying. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the products from the XX Revolution line. Uh, what do you think of the finish? In terms of what I can see in real life, I definitely like it. 
it is similar to the finish I get from the Conceal and Define foundation. I'm going to see how long I can keep it on for because right now when I first or when I first started applying the foundation, it was around 420, I believe. Yes, yeah, so it was about 420. And it's about 4.50 now, so it's quite late in the day. But I'll see if I can give you like a short wear test. Then I'll come back with another clip when I've worn it for a whole day, like the exact same things I've done. So I do like to give a, a longer wear test just to reflect an accurate day. Although right now, no one, nobody is really going to work, or at least most people aren't going to work. So I'm hoping this will not break down before the end of my night. And I'm going to have a really long night. Um, I should sleep around 11, 12. So I'll give you a quick update then before I take off my face. But I really like the way it um, the way it appears. I like the application of the foundation and the concealer. Uh, we will see whether or not the concealer creases by the end of the day as well. Hopefully I will remember. Um, is it creasing? I feel like it's kind of creasing but not like breaking up. It's just gone into the lines in my under eyes. I do have natural creases in my under eyes. So I'm always a bit wary when um, brands advertise that their concealers are creaseless because that's not necess necessarily a thing. If you've got creases, your your concealer will eventually crease. <laughs> I don't know. But for me, an issue is when foundation settles into my smile line. So again, I'll see how that goes. But I'm hoping this whole area doesn't get too bad. But I like everything I have applied. I like the mist on the spray. It could be an extra bit finer, but it's finer than the other mists. I will definitely say that. So I will come back with a finished face because I'm also going to film about another mascara and some lip products as well. So I will come back once that is done. Hello everybody. So I am finally back. Um, my face looks a little bit more glowy than it did when I when you last saw me basically. So I've had about two and a half hour break, made dinner, I have filmed another video and yeah, cooked in a hot kitchen basically. So the base is still looking good. I've just started to notice a few things. So as you can see here, there's a little bit of a shadow where the concealer, where the, concealer, where the foundation is creasing. Um, in like, I guess up close, it's not so obvious. But again, I feel like the camera picks up every little detail, which is either good or bad. On this side, it's not as bad. In fact, it's not even, it's non-existent on this side. Um, but on this side, I feel like it's creased a bit. The concealer has definitely creased on the on the eye area. And it's starting to get a little bit dewy in the corners of my nose. And slightly dewy above my forehead. But again, I was cooking in a hot kitchen. So that that's that on that. Nothing else has changed. I was filming a mascara review and I managed to get mascara on my cheek. So if you notice a shadow on this side, that's exactly what this is. I've tried to cover it with some powder, but you can still see a bit of a shadow. But I'll just show you a close-up of what my skin looks like. So there's a slight bit of a shadow here where I've tried to scratch off the mascara and my nose is a little bit dewy on the corners but and there's a bit of dew on my forehead but apart from that I do still like the way this foundation is looking I will park this here for now I'll come back at the end of the day just to show you what the foundation looks like a few hours down the road and we will wrap it up there for today and then I will come back with another morning slash morning and nighttime uh, shot of what the foundation is wearing like hey everybody so I am actually back the same day and it is stupid o'clock right now the time is 2.29 if you can actually see so it is ridiculously late and I think what did I say that the foundation application happened around 4 thir 4.30 and it was about 4.50 10 and a half hours oh thereabouts so yeah I've had this foundation of about 10 and a half hours Slight caveat, so about three hours into this I had to film another video and I uh, basically just powdered the corners of my nose, not all over my face, the corners of my nose just above my brows in the center of my uh, forehead. Uh, my actual nose was not 
oily at all so it was just the corners of my nose and i powdered around my mouth as well because um it was the lip swatch video so yeah and i didn't powder anywhere else so as you can see my face is still intact there's a healthy glow i do feel like i should probably blotch just so you can see what this looks like once it is blotted and just so you can see if it still looks good um i thought it would look a lot more oily and bearing in mind i'm actually in front of a, a ring light a small ring light so it's going to look a bit more harsh harsh than it actually does in real life as well so and i am recording on my phone as well just <clears throat> to make my life a lot easier because i edit my videos on my camera on my phone on my camera so it's just easier to get on with the editing rather than leave my memory card in my camera waiting for this update so some of the foundation did come off but not a lot at all um, when I finished applica applicating, when I finished applying the foundation and like the whole routine, I did um, touch my face and just, um, I didn't document it obviously, but I got a piece of tissue paper just to see because I was curious to see if it was transfer proof. Um, and it was, um, I, like the foundation didn't actually come off. I think it was where I applied the bronzer because that was the last thing I applied. So that was, um, that that showed on the paper a little but not a lot at all but like the center of my face where i applied the foundation was actually fine so this is what my face looks like when it is blotted and i feel like if i just dotted over this with um you know if i just powdered over my whole face with like a bit of translucent powder i'll get another couple of hours wear from this foundation so this foundation is really really impressive i really like it and um in terms of what i use to set my face i use the revolution matte base powder just um in like the shade 12.5 i think um oh, i'm losing feeling in my legs just to um first yes it was just to like you know set certain areas of my face and i think that's definitely helped hold the foundation together so there isn't too much creasing on my smile lines as well which is really good because i think i thought i was starting to see a crease line but maybe that powder actually helped hold the foundation together in my smile lines although i haven't actually been speaking a lot you know i have been at home um all evening like i'm happy with the result and i would definitely recommend this foundation it is really really good and i'm just really glad about the whole smile line situation that it's not um cracking like there isn't a huge crease in there so i think i will also do a comparison video with the conceal and define foundation if you want to see that please do give this video a massive thumbs up hey everybody so i am back on the second day so the products i tried in my first impressions try them again and here are the results um i have the primer on this side of my face so what i'm hoping for is that this you know this whole routine will last a whole day so the time is 305 right now again i'm gonna have another late day so i will see how long i can keep this on my face but what i really want to see is around the seven eight hour mark if my face is you know still matte actually because i expect this side of my face to be a bit more matte because i have my primer on and that primer never fails it's like one of the best most affordable primers you can have so yeah let's see how that goes so i applied everything in the exact same order the only thing i didn't do i feel like um i kind of eased off a bit on the bronzer because i noticed when i was editing that the bronzer kind of left a slight shadow like across my face and i made sure that i didn't apply as much of the coty s bun again i noticed in the first video that it left a bit of a cast of course when i set my face nothing was too obvious but when i was applying it i felt like i could see where i applied the coty s bun which is meant to be a translucent powder but it's slightly casty but anyway so yeah we'll see how long this uh face holds up for and i will come back later on at night to show you what it looked like okay so um i'll see you in a couple more hours okay so let's try that again the time is 9 58 it's almost 10 o'clock and she did that even focus hope you can see it's 9 58 and 
It's been a bit of a long day. Um, I think I started this at what, 3.05 or so, about 3ish. So it's been 7 hours and this is what my face looks like. I feel like with, because I do have a ring light just so you can see a bit better. So looking in the mirror, it actually doesn't look as bad. Um, it looks, my face looks a lot smoother, a lot matter for some reason. I don't know why the light works that way when it's, I don't know, when it's right on top of you. But anywho, um, it's been about almost seven hours, just about. And this is what my face looks like. I have a dry patch on my chin, which has now become a bit more apparent. So if you can see, So you can see the foundation is coming off there and I'm actually picking at it as well, which is really bad. Um, yeah, so it's kind of gotten worse. It's now becoming a bit more obvious on this side. It wasn't as obvious this morning when I was doing my skincare routine. It was after I applied the foundation, oddly enough. Um, like later that I saw that I had a, a tiny, small uh, bit of like flaky skin. Um, of course it's winter, I'm using tretinoin and yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that my skin is hydrated but um, I am still, like for some reason this time around I do have a bit of flaky skin and it wasn't showing when I first applied my foundation but for some reason it just became more obvious. I think I tried to like brush it off and then I got more uh, coming through so I just thought, you know, let me just leave it. Um, but I might have like rubbed off on it throughout the day, you know, with my daughter playing and things like that. I mean, she's not watching my face, neither am I. So yeah, this is what it looks like. The first thing to address is the cracks in my smile lines. Um, on this side, funny enough, it's more obvious than this side. This is the side that has primer on it as well. So don't forget, I do have primer on half my face, but I actually almost cannot tell the difference. I'm not sure if it's obvious on camera. Uh, the corners of my nose are dewy than this side and certainly this side of my mouth area is more broken up again because I have flaky skin apparently and yeah and I've just been rubbing off on it so yeah so this is what my face looks like after seven hours and I can't really tell the difference apart from like the lower part of my jawline so yeah this is the side with primer this is the side without I will come back probably around 12 or so. I am sleeping late again today. Anybody willing to work for free, please hit me up. <laughs> My email is down below in the description box, okay? If you're willing to work for free, you live in the UK, please help me organize my life. This is what my face looks like after seven hours. Still good, still going strong, apart from the lower half, which is a bit of a mess. I'm slightly gross, actually. I need to stop picking at this. This is quite disgusting, actually. <laughs> I need to stop. Somebody stop me. Anyway, I'll see you in a few more hours. Okay, so actually I can't even show you what the time is because I'm filming on my phone. The time is 12.22 um, and I've had this foundation or this whole face on for... It's too late to start calculating. Oh my gosh, how long is it been? nine almost nine and a half hours over nine hours at least and i'm gonna call it a day here so i have to say i'm definitely really impressed with how this foundation has worn throughout the day it actually hasn't gotten too oily the only problem areas are like the corners of my nose um slight bit of glow on my forehead but even that is fine for every day i wouldn't bother with um mattifying this area at all just the corners of my nose and of course we have the problem area in my jaw where i have uh, dry skin now apparently so yeah and of course my smile line so i think the first time i tried this foundation uh combination I did say that I wasn't really talking too much throughout the day, but today I was talking, singing, everything. So yeah, I feel like that's probably prompted this crease that you can see here. Um, but it's only creasing on one side, which is weird. I feel like this is the side that always creases. I don't know. But anyway, um, in terms of pores, it's not too obvious. You can see my pores are starting to become a little bit more obvious, but Everything is, the majority of my face is on, like I said, so yeah. The nose, both nostrils are just as oily. This whole section of my face is pretty matte. 
and then of course we have breakdown on this side so i don't think primer really affects or at least the primer I, I used anyway i don't think that really affected the wear of this foundation and concealer combo um and the rest of my face actually and some of the contour is still left like the blush i can still kind of see it on this side um yeah so i think the face has worn really well let me check my brow can you see anything yeah so my brows are still firmly on almost tattooed on i really like this foundation i'm being really demure because i'm really tired and the concealer as well it hasn't creased too much i mean it settled into the lines in my under eyes but i mean it hasn't like completely like separated or like i don't know in this whole area it's still very 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 smooth i like the concealer you get a lot for your money i really like the blush it's extremely pigmented um i didn't actually mention when i did show you the color that i chose it didn't look like that online it looked more pinky it wasn't as red blazing red as it appeared when i took it out of the package so yeah but um definitely you need a light hand and it does work on my skin tone so if you're fair or medium you might want to stay away or just go in with a really really light hand like buff it off on the back of your hand before you apply it but the blush had a really nice formula to it as well um the mattifying spray i think definitely helped with this and i like the the what do you call it um the mist on it it could be a tad bit finer but it's better than the original like the regular regular uh mists the contour slash bronzer i'll call it a contour because it's a cool tone shade the contour is pretty dark i think even that like, if obviously it's because of the color because it's so dark i for me i need to go with a really light hand or just go with a fluffy bronzer brush rather than the defined brush i used the last time because i felt like i could see kind of like a slight shadow when i was editing that's another really great product it blended really easily and yeah i didn't have any skip areas but of course if you also want to minimize that make sure you set your whole face like the whole perimeter of your face with powder like with a translucent powder or a face powder before you put your powder bronzer, bronzer. otherwise it will skip because it's catching onto the moisture from like the foundation or like your hairline or moisture or whatever so it's a really really good foundation it might actually just replace my Casio Define my Casio Define foundation is you know running out so I was thinking about getting another one because that is just as long as they continue to make it that foundation is going to be in my rotation for like period so I think I might stick with this one and chill on that one for a while but if they do keep it I will buy it like, at some point in the future um and yeah please do thumbs up this video if you want to see a comparison between between the Concealer Define and this XX Revolution foundation, double fix foundation. And yeah, apart from that, hope you found this video helpful. If you're thinking about getting this foundation, the concealer, or the blush, or the contour, or the setting spray. So if you found this helpful, please do give this video a massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. I do like a random selection of, you know. Um, affordable beauty related videos so from hair care to makeup skincare and yeah all that good stuff so if you like all that please do subscribe so you don't miss out and until next time stay blessed have a great morning afternoon evening or night wherever you are and i will catch you in my next video bye